Hello, David Harper at Monarch Turtle with a brief tutorial on catastrophe bonds or CAT bonds for the FRM candidate. CAT bonds are classified alongside CAT options and other derivatives that are used to hedge operational risk. To understand, we start with the sponsor in light green. The sponsor is typically an insurance or reinsurance company seeking to reinsure against catastrophic events like hurricanes or floods that typically occur with low frequency but very high severity in terms of economic consequences. Here a special purpose vehicle or special purpose entity is constructed that is bankruptcy remote and with the help of underwriters securities are issued to investors those investors may be in tranche classes in exchange for their cash payment. So the investors contribute the initial purchase price and they get securities. Those securities come with a promise of principal and interest payments. The investors cash is deposited with the trustee and that is pledged as collateral. So this is really a funded exposure because if there is a catastrophe then all the trustee needs to do is withhold the principal and interest payments. So far this is really just like a corporate bond in the sense that investors have paid cash in exchange for some r interest rate and the promise of future principal and interest payments. The key difference with the cat bond is that there is according to the contract a trigger and that trigger depends on catastrophic event or events plural and again if there is a trigger that's met these investors will suffer losses on the principal and interest which will use to be compensate that's the insurance for the sponsor so we consider the triggers are very important and first there may be a single or multiple peril those perils historically most of those perils have been of five different sorts either US earthquakes or hurricanes windstorms in Europe, earthquakes in Japan, or typhoons in Japan. So the classic trigger was an indemnity. If there's an indemnity trigger, this is an indemnity or an indemnified note. That means the trigger is based on internal, maybe even actual losses at the sponsor. So that's an internal trigger. The other ones tend to be external, but the model is a hybrid. So the index trigger is based on some index that is external to the company and would be objective to both the sponsor and the investors. The parametric trigger is similar to the index. It's external, it's objective, but it implies that the payments may be some multiple or formula of that index. So the classic example here is the Richter scale in the case of an earthquake and a parametric note might actually the compensation might actually be based on the outcome on the Richter scale in the case of an earthquake and the model is a bit of a hybrid where the payouts are based on parameters that are fed into some model and would theoretically have a higher correlation to the sponsors actual exposure so these triggers are a key feature of the cat bonds and the classic trade-off here is between moral hazard in the case of the indemnified note the classic problem here was the, that there was moral hazard in other words because they depend on the sponsors actual internal calculations and or losses the indemnity trigger is not very transparent it's hard to price it requires a lot of due diligence it enhances the legal risk so that was the classic problem with the indemnified trigger and would by itself favor the index or parametric the problem here is that these as external measures are do not have a perfect correlation to the sponsors actual losses so the Richter scale for example if that were used as a parametric 
might correlate somewhat but might not be a perfect proxy for the sponsor's actual loss so there is basis risk in both of these cases the model trigger is has been increasingly popular because as it's a hybrid it has a little bit less more it has less moral hazard than the indemnified trigger and less basis risk than the index and for example Guy Carpenter recently released an excellent report on the catastrophe bond market at the year in 2007 and one of their findings was that there has been a resurgence in the indemnity trigger or the, a resurgence in indemnified notes in part because there's been more supply of capital by investors more investors wanting exposures to cat bonds and that according to the report has given sponsors a little bit more leverage to insist on indemnified triggers because they have less basis risk so this is David Harper of the Bonnock Turtle thanks for your time